Good morning. Welcome back to my hunting channel. Today's the 29th. We're getting down to the end of the year, end of the season, and uh, the deer are winning. I've uh, went online last night and Facebook and a couple other places. It seems a lot, a lot of other hunters are having lack of deer, the ability to shoot at or something at this time of year. So this may be the last day to hunt, I think, this, you know, that we bring it in the new year. I haven't made up my mind quite yet. Uh, the weather is uh, confusing to the deer. Uh, one day it's kind of cold and the next day it's hot. And so I, I don't know if the deer are bothered by the change of temperatures. And starting tomorrow, we have a forecast of some high winds, tornado activities supposedly this week so i don't know if i'll be able to get back out to the stand or not but if i do i'll continue making the video and if not i'll close it out before i post it maybe from my office or something like that so don't be surprised but it's been a great year my wife and i each got a doe i wish could have got more uh, i got my uh sausage making grinder stuff set up already so i'm gonna take the rest of the deer meat that i got and make some summer sausage myself and some breakfast sausage i'm gonna experiment with that and see how it goes uh my son-in-law is good at it he who's gonna give me his machine but uh, <laughs> i already bought mine so we're good to go there but i did have to get the uh the mixer because they said that's important to mix up the fat and stuff so i'm going to take a peek at that and how much fat i got and compared to the meat that i need today and uh this weekend i think i'll make the sausages and bring in the new year with my making of uh deer sausage and uh summer sausages and stuff like that so anyway i appreciate you all watching my channel and hanging in there with me man today is the 29th and uh i'm gonna sit out here and hunt most of the morning and See what I can get. My cameras didn't show for the week. Didn't show a lot of movement at all either. I checked all of my cameras throughout the property and deer here, deer there. Uh, it was kind of funny as yesterday, there was a deer up in my wife's stand and uh, he was there at 8.30 in the morning, two hours before we came through to pick up the cards. And it was just that one. And of course mine, last I show a small herd down here, about the 8th of uh, December. And uh, they, we're on the camera, that's all I can tell you. And I haven't seen them since, so. Oh well, next year, a bigger food plot, more planning. Uh, this year, at least we got my stand set up perfectly with my uh, the bench seat back in here, <clears throat> like I showed you in the video of the reviews. And I'll tell you something else about the, the uh, seat. It's sturdy enough, so when I'm trying to get in and out of the stand, I can actually rest my hand on it and grab it and get up inside the stand a lot easier than trying to grab a chair that falls down or moves too so and that's see it's quiet that's all it comes the only thing making noise right now is me i got busted out walking this morning into the woods and uh not from the deer the squirrels are letting everybody know hey hey somebody's here so hopefully they calm down and the deer come in too so we'll get back at you okay hey afternoon welcome back to my hunting channel yeah Still trying to hunt. Had to get out and do some running around this morning. Had to go pay a bill back, basically. I could have mailed it, but eh. the weather's 63 degrees, and uh, my trike wanted to get out and ride, so we went out. I rode the bike all around, and of course, instead of taking a left to come back home, I took a right and decided to go somewhere else. So, but that has nothing to do with hunting. So, got home in time, so I had to take my son-in-law and daughter down to pick up their Toyota from service and everything they gave me plenty of time to get back and get in the stand for a good afternoon hunt i hope uh, i saw plenty of hunters out today I hear shots now and then and i talked to my neighbor and uh, i guess whatever me and my wife did to plant food uh use the corn during the legal time uh worked because he said he's never seen so many deer come into the area that he hasn't seen before and uh, he got a deer on fort campbell which was cool you know I'm still here hunting and kind of miss my hunting buddy coming up and visiting, but uh, it's another story. So anyway, we're going to sit out here this afternoon and uh, try to get Bambi again. All right. All right. And it's getting dark outside here. It's not even 3, it's 335 right now. And uh, you get that heavy storm coming in right now. It's getting kind of black outside. 
so I don't know what I'm going to do. Finish this off or not? I don't know. I feel like sitting here anyway. It's peaceful out here. Quiet. Comfortable. I ain't even seen the squirrels this afternoon. Maybe they're hiding because they know what's coming. I don't know. So, I'm going to sit out here and hope for the best. And uh, if I don't see it again, then I'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day before I close this video out, okay? It'll all depend on the weather. All right, talk to you later. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to my hunting channel. It is now the end of the year, December 31st. Or 30th, yeah, 31st. <laughs> I lose track of days, but I know it's the end of the year. It's a Friday, it's New Year's Eve. And uh, stop raining. The wife came out this morning and uh, was hunting my stand while I did the dump run and cleaned the trash cans out and stuff and the smell. And uh, anyway, I got a, I had to get a bug in my butt and had to come out this afternoon. So it's like only 1.30, quarter to two. But check this out, or this way, whatever. Summer sausages, I gotta tell you. First time ever I made them. So we try to use my new grinder and I'm gonna do a review on it. And uh, grinding's perfect, it's flawless. But when you get down to the trying to pack sausage links it, it, or even uh, summer sausage, it, it is kind of a hard thing to do. TV makes it look easy, I don't know how. Anyway, they always make things look easy on YouTube. My review on that will be upcoming pretty soon because we tried to do the breakfast sausage link from Cabela's. It sucked. The taste. Uh, we figured it out. It was my fault. Because uh, I thought it was 10 and a half pounds of meat and come to find out it wasn't just the meat. It was the meat and the fat was 10 and a half pounds. So I added a little bit too much of the, the breakfast sausage mix and it, it didn't come out too good. Uh, it tastes good, but it, it has that really sweet maple taste that I'm not overly fond of. I like a little bit of it. So that was a mistake, but it was all good. The problem was, is they got this no water uh, skin, right? And uh, that was a pain in the ass to use. It wouldn't hold worth a darn no matter what we did. So I will go buy the hog intestines and soak them and do like they do on, on the YouTube videos that I learned from yesterday and today. But that's where we are. So we're back out here at the end of the year. Sun's just now coming out. It's weird. And uh, we're going to try to get some deer. Uh, at least one anyway. I have not shot anything with my rifle. And that's what I really want to, really, really want to do. So I will talk to you all in a little bit. Well, it was a beautiful afternoon. Seems like we got two kinds of assholes out here in my area. Got a guy that likes to just go over there and shoot his guns all damn day when people are out here trying to hunt. If, you know, I hear a single shot, I think, okay, somebody got a deer. But when you start hearing multiple shots like that, you can hear it. He's an asshole. He just sits out there and shoots all the goddamn time. And then we got the two idiots riding up and down the road on ATVs with no exhaust on it. I don't know if they just don't like deer hunters or what. And I'm unsure if that actually spooks my deer out of here. I really don't know. I think they're accustomed to that stuff. But, uh. I don't know. I just don't have no respect for people that just sit there and do that. I got the Second Amendment. You can do what you want to do on your property. But every single day or weekend, you got to sit out there and shoot thousands of rounds. That is just, that's just uncalled for. Go to a range. You know, people out here trying to hunt. If it's not the hunting season, have at it. But damn, people out here trying to hunt on the property. And it's not just me. The property next to me has hunters. Over there has got hunter. Across the street, Caddy Corner is a hunter. They can't hunt because some idiots out here shooting guns. And if it's not this guy over this side, it's the guy over there on that side. I mean, what idiots. Anyway, that's just their thing. Still no deer. Uh, still got a little while to hunt, so we'll give it a try to the end. And I'll close out this video once uh, I figure out if I got a deer or don't got a deer. That ain't going to be too hard, right? <laughs> well, good people. I think this is it for the year. I think I'm about done hunting. I got some food plot to work this year to do. Some other things to do. I really, really appreciate you staying tuned to my channel here. Uh, what I'm going to ask you next is if some of you guys out there to smoke your sausages and make breakfast sausages. If you want to share videos on that with me or tell me to come with them. Mainly it's the ingredients and how to make the stuff. You know, I, all, I know about cure as far as the... Uh, summer sausage and stuff, but it's the flavoring that I'm trying to get, trying to master down to find what spices. There was one guy that pointed it out pretty much. Everybody uses sage, state, nutmeg, pepper, that one. It's a ground basis for all of them, so I don't know. 
I want to start doing my own. I've already got all the equipment so far. So next year I will process my own deer and uh, save the cost of the butcher. I got an ice machine coming uh, that I want to enjoy. So I can keep this thing cold until I get to it in a couple of days and let it drain out to a nice chest method. But uh, other than that, it's been a great year with you guys. Uh, I'm glad you stayed tuned to my channel. I try to keep them short and sweet, you know, not to go 30 minutes or more or less. As I said, I don't even like them at 18 or 20. I like a, just about 10 minute video. So I want to thank you for watching my channel. If you like me, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. If you don't, you know the other way to go. Uh, tell your friends about it. Hit that little bell and you'll know every time I do one. I will tell you that I will post uh, on my hunting soon will be the the uh the decision the court handed down to me in february if you want to know that i'm going to post it anyway and let you know what the outcome of that one was and uh this will probably close out hunting 2021 uh i might hunt saturday and sunday i doubt it the weather is really super super supposed to be nasty so uh i don't walk up and down this hill and want to fall and bust my ass is hard enough getting down here as it is so thank you and you all have a fantastic 2022 uh get your bows out get your rifles out sight them in and let's get ready for hunting 2022 all righty thank you have a good day and god bless america mm -hmm.